703 this morning. I'm Jacqueline Matter in the newsroom with this Fox 5 News alert. This morning, Israel says it is still on high alert after more than 350 missiles were launched in a surprise attack by Iran over the weekend. The attack is said to be in response to an airstrike in Syria. Iran has blamed Israel for that strike. In the meantime, Israel says it successfully foiled the majority of Iran's rockets thanks to a military coalition between the U.S., United Kingdom, and Jordan. Also yesterday, G7 leaders condemning that attack. Steve? In the wake of that attack by Israel on, on Israel by Iran, Fox 5 is hearing firsthand what it was like as Israeli forces repelled hundreds of weaponized drones. The CEO and Jerusalem Bureau Chief of Jewish News Syndicate tells Fox 5's on the Hill air raid sirens went off across the country and what followed was a long stressful period as Israeli families who could huddled together in safe rooms while Israeli defense forces in the nation's Iron Dome defense system systematically fought off the attack. We we're waiting, getting the notice that uh, ballistic missiles were being fired at Israel with a, a destination time of less than 15 minutes. Uh, we saw overhead in Jerusalem a massive fireworks like the type you're looking at now. I was able to see it right outside my apartment, almost right overhead. He continued to say he expects the pressure will now build on U.S. Congress to send new aid to Israel. For weeks, the Biden administration has been pressuring Israel for a ceasefire in Gaza and more humanitarian aid for civilians as he continues the war against Hamas.